2.5 pounds down. I'm so excited. So this next picture is the pizza mill. These are the tuna patties. This is the green bean casserole. This is the egg mill, which is fantastic. This is the chicken mill. Hi, welcome to Chris's journey to lose 100 pounds. This week I lost 2.5 pounds. I'm so excited. Um, so I don't really know how I did it um, because I kind of cheated this week, but that's life. So um, let's get into the week and see how I did it. So this week was probably a little closer to low carb than lazy keto just because there was some um, cheating involved in my diet. So on Monday, I did eat the Greek yogurt with the cut up grapes and a little bit of the protein powder. Um, and I had the jalapeno chicken leftover. So the jalapeno chicken, like, I didn't care for it. Like, not at all. It was all right, I guess. It was edible. But it just, ugh. I mean, I love jalapenos. I love jalapeno poppers. So I was so disappointed. My husband said it was all right. Um, so I think he liked it a tad bit more than me. But yeah, just my opinion. On Tuesday, I had the pizza leftover and the tuna melt so with the pizza again it was just all right i was really hoping to find a type of pizza crust that um wasn't just cheese like the last one and this did serve that purpose you know it was chicken and i love that there wasn't almond flour in there so i was able to share it with my husband um my husband liked it more than i did so with that like I could tell it wasn't a normal crust. He says you couldn't really tell. Other people say you can't really tell. I think they're full of it. So, um, cause like I could definitely tell. Now there is another recipe for pizza crust that I want to try. That's from low carb love. And it's supposed to be like some cheese and some chicken made with it. And so maybe that'll be better. Maybe we'll get to that eventually. So, um, the tuna melts, um, they were all right, just plain. Um, I didn't really care for it, uh, just plain. It was, it, it was very fishy tasting. Um, but I put some honey Dijon mustard that was like the, uh, the Skinny Girl makes a Dijon mustard, and it's fantastic. I highly recommend Skinny Girl's Dijon, Dijon mustard. Um, it completely transformed uh, the tuna melt. And the first day I had it, I did have it with the leftover green beans. Again, the green beans were just, ugh. They, they were okay. Maybe if you leave off the crumbs, um, the pork rind crumbs, it would be better. Um, it would probably be a lot better if you did that. I'm not, okay, I don't really care for the pork rinds much, but I've had it in another recipe and thought that they were fine. Um, but with this recipe, they just didn't taste well with it. So, and the tuna melt, I do feel like tastes so much better with the, um, the spring mix. And the next day I did have it with the spring mix. And so it was more like a tuna salad and with the Dijon mustard and it was delicious. So I do recommend making this meal again, but instead I would do it with the spring mix and definitely add the Skinny Girl Dijon mustard. So, doo -doo -doo. on Wednesday was the pizza leftovers and the tuna melts again. Thursday was the egg breakfast and I made the canned chicken meal. So the egg breakfast was fantastic. I highly recommend it. It's super easy to make. Even my toddler enjoyed it. Uh, well, okay, he liked it enough to have some, but it wasn't his favorite. So like, that's a win. Um, 
yeah, it was super easy, very filling. It was like four mils for us. Highly, highly recommend. I will definitely make that again. Um, and then the canned chicken milk, um, that was great too. I have had this milk time and time again, which was wonderful uh, on bread, but this time I had it on the spring mix and it was fantastic. I really didn't know how it was going to work out, but yeah, it was fantastic. I did add a little bit of mustard that I didn't originally put in the recipe. Um, so it turned into more like a, uh, chicken salad make, uh, chicken salad, um, or chicken egg salad is what I'm meaning to say. Just over some spring mix and it was perfect. Um, on Friday I had the egg breakfast with the chicken leftovers again. And then Saturday, um, I cheated and had pancakes. Um, blame my husband. He made them, surprised me with them. They were delicious. Definitely not keto. Not even really low carb. I have no idea what the carbs were on it. But, uh, not my fault. Don't blame me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But still. Um, oh, and then... Later on Saturday, I had the chicken meal again. On Sunday, I had the spaghetti and um, a smoothie. So I intended to have a smoothie both on Saturday and Sunday, but uh, I don't always follow the plan. So we decided just to have one smoothie on Sunday. Now, throughout this week, I also cheated by having um, a little bit of chocolate here and there. So I had this uh, Hershey Specialty Dark Mildly Sweet Chocolate. How is it dark chocolate and uh, mildly sweet? I don't really know, but that's what they make. It's this little thing right here. Specialty Sweet. It's my Hershey. And then let me see. I don't know if you can tell, but it says dark chocolate there. Delicious, and they're so tiny that they're perfect. Um, and for next week, I plan on being bad and including sweets. So I don't intend to actually lose weight next week, just an FYI. I plan to just stay the same or hopefully lose weight. If I lose weight, that's wonderful. If you want to lose weight and you're like for sure not wanting to surrender to your sweet tooth like me, then I suggest you don't do these desserts I'm about to mention and stick to the keto. Uh, you should be 100% on track by then. But if you do want to venture to the dark side this week and have some sweets, here they are. So I plan on having uh, some cookies and I was going to have, uh, so they're like, they make like three different types of cookies with this recipe. One is like a peanut butter cookie and the other is like a peanut butter and chocolate cookie. And then the other is kind of like a pastry or reminds me of it because it has some jam in the center and uh, I'm looking forward to this. And then the next sweet item I plan on having, which I don't know that it's really sweet, but it's definitely like a dessert item is um the butter beer so i have been uh listening to the harry potter books while i do my ten thousand steps and i'm just craving a butter beer so that's what i'm gonna have now i do plan on probably cutting both of these recipes in half just because they seem like they're gonna be big batches but we'll see how it goes um and then, oh, the other little cheat meal this week, it's not really cheat, it's still keto, but, and both of those items are still keto, but yeah, they're extra sweets. So the other item is fried pickles. I found a keto fried pickle recipe that I'm just dying to try that I'll have later this week as well. You might want to omit that if you want to be super stickler about losing weight. I mean, I think you could still do the fried pickles because there's not sugar or anything. Um, it's just cheese and pickles, but you decide. Um, on Monday of next week, I plan on having my egg breakfast, which is just that meal we've made before uh, with the red skin potatoes. You can sub out those potatoes with the radishes. Um, I ha still have yet to do that, but I do plan on making a potato meal later this week that calls for a um calls for radishes so i'll get to finally see if subbing radishes for potatoes are worth a darn 
Um, and then I put on here the cheeseburger casserole. So I was gonna make, I, I suggest you make that on Monday, but for me personally, there's a chicken pasta meal later during this week. And I plan on having that on Monday instead because I have some spring mix in the fridge that I still need to use. It's gonna go bad soon. Um, so it just makes sense for me to make that meal, but I do realize that a lot of people do not want pasta back to back, but I'm like a leftover queen. So I love pasta and I love Italian food, of course. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine with having pasta back to back. Plus they're so different then I think it's fine. Um, and then I listed the fried pickles and then on Tuesday, it's going to be the egg breakfast and burger casserole. Wednesday, um, the egg breakfast and broccoli chicken pasta. This is that pasta I was telling you about. On Thursday, it's the pumpkin bread and broccoli chicken pasta. Friday, uh, this is the same meal. Saturday is the pumpkin bread and salmon meal. And then Sunday um, is the same thing. So that is the plan for next week as well. Um, I hope you're losing weight too. Please like and subscribe so we can continue to lose weight together. Thank you. Have a great day.